Some people call it the scream machine. I call it physics. At 60 miles an hour, centripetal force, <laughs> live the science of roller coasters at Six Flags. Now if I can only get my friend to stop screaming in my ear. <laughs> ah! My niece gets this tiny Siamese kitten. I'm like, oh. Until that little devil takes a swipe at my great Dane and I have to take to the, the, the dog to the vet for $500 emergency surgery. I'm Special Agent Michaels with the task force to stop really big groups of bad people doing bad things they can't recall later. Here at the force, we use only the best tools. That's why I use the Everlasting Mob Stopper. Just one of these tasty treats will turn your slick-haired tough guys into Mother Teresa. The Everlasting Mob Stopper. Bada-bing, bada-boom, bad is gone. I was looking in the mirror the other day, and a horrifying thought came to mind. I'm fat. And then a revelation hit me, thinking you're fat is the first sign of anorexia. I could be starving myself to death and not even know it. Maybe that's why I can't get a date. I'm so scrawny I scare the ladies away. Or maybe they think I'm a disgusting blob. And I couldn't ask anyone because either I find out I'm anorexic or I'm huge. But I gotta look at the positives. I, I was told I serve a big God. I was told the body's a temple of God. So why not look at being fat as simply giving God more room.